If you had to describe your experience with the chorus in just one word, what would it be? One word. Wow. There's a movement um, that New York City Gay Men's Chorus helped found in the early 80s. San Francisco and New York City and a handful of other choruses were the first ones. And they began the movement, which is now over 400 choirs in the US and hundreds of choirs overseas as well. We really can say with some justification that we change lives. It's, it's political with a very small p. All we really do is be a large group singing on stage and we sing songs of all kinds really that challenge people's perceptions in some cases about what being gay is about. And when, I, when I joined the chorus, I was looking for a place where I could sing because if, you, if you're in the chorus, you love to sing. For me, it was really important as I got older to be with a group of gay men that didn't involve a bar or anything or a club. It's a group of men getting together all walks of life, all ages. It really doesn't exist too many other places, I think, in, in the gay community. You know, when I came to the course, I thought I would just sing, and that would be creative, and then I started choreographing, and now I'm directing. It's, it's brought creativity back into my life. I get hundreds of emails um, from people over the years saying, you know, thank you very much for singing. I now understand more what my teenage son is going through. What we're into is connecting with people, using music to connect us to them in a way that in a way makes gay men seem a little less uh, frightening and teaches them uh, a little bit about uh, gay men's identity and the LGBT community in general.